Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in order to create an audio visualizer inside HitFilm, you need to purchase a plugin. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an audio visualizer uh, without using any kind of plugin. All you have to do is use uh, use an application called RainMeter. Uh, we'll use RainMeter to display our visualizer and then we'll use HitFilm to see how we can use it in our videos. What you have to do is, first of all, Go to the link in the description. The first one will be rainmeter.net. You need to download the uh, the final version. Just download it. Uh, once you uh, download it and install it, it is going to look like this. So you need to unload all these skins. So right click and click on unload on all of these. So I'm just going to do that. And I also uh, right click on the desktop, go to view and I also hit the uh, desktop icons. Um, so you can see the desktop icons and then go to personalize and set the background uh, uh, to a solid color and set its color to black so once you are once you do that then you just have to go to the second link in the description which is uh, ba basically the uh, deviant art so you can just uh, you know search for different audio visualizers here so you can see that there are a lot of uh, audio visualizers you can pick any one that you like um, so uh, we're gonna use this one so uh, the trap nation one so it has its uh, own logo you can replace the logo as well which is pretty neat so you just click on the download icon and it will download a very small uh, file uh, so you just have to you know click on it and install it it will be a rain meter skin so after that you just have to simply right click on the rain meter icon and go to skins and choose the trap nation visualizer and trap nation visualizer dot ini and once you click on that you're gonna see that you'll get a trap nation visualizer so by default it comes with a trap nation logo you can change the logo as well so if you right click on it and click on trap nation settings and settings dot ini and once you click on that it will open up this window and you can customize this to your liking so if you want to change the radius you can do that um if you want to you know increase uh, or decrease the size of your logo you can do that as well you can change how the visualizer colors appear you can change each and every color here and basically uh, you can just play around with this so you can like select your logo by clicking on this icon right here that says select and choose your logo and you know scale it down according to your needs and once you do that you just have to apply it and click close out of this and you can just center this up and then you just have to basically play any audio uh, from any source. You can use the inbuilt audio player like Groove or you can even play audio from your browser. So I have this audio right here. So if I just play this. So there, as you can see, uh, the audio visualizer in action. So. Once you do all of this, then you, all you have to do is record your screen. So I use OBS to record my screen. It's a free application. So you can use it to record the entire screen. And once you do that, once you record your audio uh, and your screen, then you can just open up HitFilm, which I haven't opened up. So I'll just open up HitFilm. And once it opens up, then you need to create a new composition. So I'm gonna click on new. I'm going to use 1920 1080 and the frame rate I usually record in 60 so I'm going to select 60 and click on OK and once it opens up you just have to browse for the location where you have your where you saved your video on the OBS video so you can just import that video onto your timeline just like that and click on yes and you can see here is our audio visualizer so now uh, right as you can see the background is set to black uh, the background you know behind this audio visualizer is black so uh, if you you know let's move this to the second layer or the second track video track and if you uh, you know um, add anything below our track it is not going to display that image so I use this image as a background so you can see that it will not display it because uh, the background the black color is still there so to get rid of this black color you can use uh, an effect called demult so you can search for it demult and apply it on your track which is at the top and as you can see it will get rid of all the black colors you can see that it got rid of the black color which was in my logo as well 
so if you want to uh, do that you can do that as well and that's pretty much it that's how we can uh, create this audio visualizer and if you want to scale this down it's pretty simple go to transform and you can just scale it down and move it anywhere that you want so um that's pretty much it that's uh, uh that's a neat uh, so that's pretty much it i hope you, this video was helpful if it was do consider leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one